We're talking about cylinders today. I've got it centered, and I have two kind of tricks, two tricks to tall, like two little um, things you can do to your cylinder uh, to make it taller. So first of all, it's centered. I'm just going to open it up and put my hands in there. I'm going across the bottom. I've done many videos on opening and centering, and they're in links below. Okay, I opened this way and I pulled my right hand to the palm of my left. My left hand and right hand are going to go up together at an angle or a cone shape. And you're going to get some height that way. So just watch, you're going to go up. And I'm supporting on the inside. And then I've got some height. Now before I go put my hands in and start pulling, I'm going to give it another pull. I'm going to put my hands opposite as if I were coning the, the clay. And I'm going to push in and pull up. And already, just in doing that, I've got even more height. And I just used, um, get it dirty again, just my bottom of my hands just pushed in, pulled up as if I were coning. Now you can go into your, into your cylinder. I'm going to go right down to the bottom. Get rid of that schmutz. And I'm going to pull up. I have... Um, Got a big ball of clay in there. I'm just going to cut it in half and show you what I'm doing here. So, so my hands, when they're pulling up, are raising this piece of clay right here. I'm squeezing it and I'm pulling that whole weight up and it's going to get taller. So, and then as it gets, I pull up, uh, it gets thinner, and then as it as I as I get closer and closer to the top, I release the pressure, and so then that way the walls will be all even thickness. Okay, I've got it centered again, so I'm going to go in. Going to go a little faster this time. I'm going to go down, making sure I don't go down too deep. Elbows on my knees, pulling across. Hands, both hands, go up and get that height. Then I'm going to get the side wet, and I'm going to do that cone cuddle lift. That's what I call it. <laughs> cone cuddle lift. <laughs> it sounds cute. Cone cuddle lift sounds cute. Then I can go inside and go down and get that clay I was showing you and pull up and get some height. So here we are in the full first pull, and my hands are eight inches tall, so I got a six inch, seven inch cylinder on one pull. So now you can go ahead and, and throw a cylinder like you would. I'm just gonna get a couple more pulls and see how we did. So on num pull number two. Now some people when they're pulling a cylinder get to this stage and they get, it feels uncomfortable. You can keep pulling this way or you can just moisten that up and pull up that way until you get a hold of pulling the tall cylinder. My clay today is very soft. Anyway, there's your tall cylinder. If you want it to go taller, you can do that cone in thing again that we did. And pull up. I don't know if this clay will, if this clay will clay or not. It's pretty soft. I'm going to cut it level. That's good enough for a demo. It's kind of like throwing yogurt. Anyway, so there's a tall cylinder. If I'm going to keep it, I probably give it some a little definition. Pop, come up and say I'm done. Give it a bit of a shoulder. Nah, not sure. Anyway, we'll cut it in half. See how I did. And. If it will stand up. Oh, it did. So there we go. It is fairly soft. But there's the cylinder. If I were going to trim this, 
I probably wouldn't. <laughs> anyway, there's a cylinder, a wonky cylinder made out of really wet clay. If you enjoyed the cylinder made out of really wet clay that was pretty wonky, hit the like in the like section. If you want to see me make more wonky cylinders, hopefully I don't, uh, subscribe. And if you have any comments about me and my wonky wet cylinders, let me know in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.